Today's video is brought to you by Tanacra, Microsoft Forms, Power Automate, and SharePoint Online. Hello, and welcome to How Did Jason Do That? Today, I'll be showing you how to use Microsoft Forms to collect data from users then show you how to store that data in SharePoint Online using Power Automate. To do this yourself, you will need a Microsoft 365 tenant with access to SharePoint Online, Microsoft Forms, and Power Automate. If you don't already have a license, head over to the Microsoft 365 site and grab yourself one. Before you get started today though, don't forget to hit that shiny subscribe button below and turn on those notifications to get notified when another one of my videos becomes available. And as always, feel free to leave your comments below. Let's get started. Open a browser and go to your office tenant. On the left hand side you will see some commonly used apps. You can also click on the Microsoft 365 menu button at the top and you'll see all the apps that you have available to you that you have licenses for. So in this case we'll go to forms. For today's example we are going to create a little simple menu app where people can choose uh, their food preferences for an upcoming staff event. So in forms, click new form and right off the bat you're just presented with a basic out-of-the-box Microsoft form with nothing in it. So right here we'll just add a title in. We'll call it um, Team Lunch. So that'll be the title of it. We'll add another section below it and we'll just have a simple text string. Let's just say your name. We'll also add another one underneath that gives people the choice. Perhaps they want to have uh, a protein option. So we'll give them the choice of beef, chicken, fish, or tofu. We'll also give them a side option. So let's do another choice field. We'll give them the choice of fries. Onion rings. Caesar salad. They're going to come in, they're going to see the name protein option and a side option. It's really simple as that. There's a theme button. We can, I don't know, make it a little bit nicer, jazzier. Oh, I kind of like that. There's a few food options. So let's just choose, let's just choose the, uh, this one down here. Some food right there. Perfect. So now that it's ready to go, we can just preview the form and we'll just try it out. So I'm just going to go put my name. I'm going to choose beef and I do like a Caesar salad. So I'll submit it. Microsoft Forms will record all the responses. And you can see here, we have the team lunch and one entry, one response with the name Jason. Uh, I've chosen beef and I've chosen Caesar salad as my side. Now the next step here is we're just gonna create a little SharePoint list that we can put this data into. So in my test site here, I'm going to create a new list just going to go from a blank list and just call it Team Lunch. Just now we're going to match up some of the fields that we have in our form that we had previously created. So the first one is, instead of title, we're just going to rename this one. I'm just going to call it Name, so we can capture the name. There's also a protein option. So what we'll do here is I'll just, I'll actually create a choice field here. Go Protein. And I'll just mirror the choices that we have. So we had beef, we had chicken, we had fish, and we had tofu. So I'll go save. We'll add a column with a choice. We'll call it side, and we'll just mirror what we have.
stuff like that. And it's safe. So now we have a list that's ready to receive the information from our team lunch form above. So now we're going to tie the two together, and this is where Power Automate comes in. So, so from the 365 app launcher, we're going to go to Power Automate. So I'm going to go to Create, and I'm going to create a new automated cloud flow. So what will happen here is we have Team Lunch. We're just going to name it Team Lunch to SharePoint List. So right off the bat, there's one of the new responses submitted with Microsoft Forms. We'll just use that trigger right there. And I'll go create. So first it's asking what form do I want to get the data from? So we'll just drop down, we'll have a look here. And we'll see we have Team Lunch. So now when a response is submitted in Team Lunch, we're going to have something else happen. So what we're going to do is we'll go to the next step. We want to get that information from the form. So I'm just going to type form to bring up the forms connectors. And the next one down, we have get response details. So the first one here is when something, it's just the trigger. When something goes in, a new response is submitted to a specific form, what's it going to do? So we're going to get response details from this form. So again, we'll choose when it says form ID, we'll choose team lunch. And we'll click in response ID and when we hover over top, we'll be given a, we'll pretty much be fed the option we have. So we'll click response ID here. The next step, we're going to search for SharePoint connector. And specifically, we're going to create item. It's not a file, it's just into a list. So we're going to create an item in a list. It'll ask us where the site is, which we'll is drop down. And then I'll choose the list that it's going into, the team lunch. Once we've selected the list, we'll now see the the columns that we have created in the SharePoint list. So in title, we actually, if you remember, we renamed title name. So I'm just going to click in here and we'll see that we can insert from the response details the answer to your name. We'll click in protein value and we'll go enter custom value down here. And we have protein option here. And we'll go to the side value as well. And we'll hit enter custom the side. So right now when a response is submitted it'll get the response details connect to this Microsoft uh, sorry connect to the connect to the SharePoint team find this list team lunch and enter these values in. So I'm gonna hit save and let's give this a test. So we'll click on test at the top and we'll go manual. It's gonna wait for manual input. Click test. Now we'll go into the form We'll do a preview of this form. My name is Jason. I want beef and I want onion rings. I'll hit submit. We'll go back to Power Automate to watch and it has run successfully. A new response was submitted to that form. It got the details from the form. You can see all the, all the choices I made here. And then it created item within a SharePoint list all these values. So let's have a look at that SharePoint list. Let's refresh this page. And now, as you can see, when the form was submitted, Power Automate grabbed it and threw that information into a SharePoint list. There are other things we can do. We can add email notifications, etc. But really, at the most basic, we just wanted to grab that information and throw into a SharePoint list. And we have done so. Thank you for joining me today on this video demonstrating how to connect Microsoft Forms to a SharePoint Online list using Power Automate. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button below, turn on notifications, and feel free to leave your comments. Please visit this channel again to see how did Jason do that. And until next time, keep experimenting. See ya.